All right, what's up guys? Captain Rick Stanzik here. We're going out today uh, for a belated Mother's Day trip with my mom. And we got the boys with us, my two boys. Felix, say hi, Felix. Hi. And Bo, say hi, Bo. Hi. My wife, Elizabeth. We got the Stans fam, Nick, hey. Sadie, Sarah, stepdad, Tim. So, all right, let's go have some fun. We're gonna try to catch some fish, maybe a little bit of dinner. Have a good time. at the hump secret spot nobody else knows about this <laughs> and we're gonna try to catch some fish uh, dropping some vertical jigs for tuna got a little bit of bait squid if we see anything pop up on the surface maybe some little schoolie dolphin and we're ready to go Felix you ready to catch a fish yeah oh is this your fishing rod All right, what you gonna catch on there? He says he's gonna catch a big one. Woo, Liz is hooked up. What do you got? What do you got? Felix, look, look, mommy's got a fish. You wanna come see Felix? <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> All right, double header, guys. Maybe two tunas. And we got a crying Sadie. Sadie, it's all right. Sadie is not happy about the sunscreen. I never liked sunscreen either. 10,000 feet. Look, Felix, you see the fish coming up? Watch out, Tim. gonna be getting close here. Yep. Yeah, just pass the rod around once or twice. You know? Yep, there you go. Perfect, you got it. Coming on to you, Tim. There's the tuna, Felix. Here's the tuna. Woohoo! Yeah, you got a tuna by the tail. The hard right. way! Tuna by the tail. Tuna by the tail. There you go. All right. <laughs> oh. Tim got one, too. Get him. Ready? Yeah, flip him right in there. Woo! Tuna! Oh, we got one out here too. <laughs> so Liz just got a football black fin tuna. They're not monsters, but they're really good eating. All right. Maybe Bo wants to touch it. Hey, Bo. Yeah. These kids, oh, well. these kids gotta be fishermen. We gotta get them to touch the fish. <laughs> Bo, Bo, you wanna touch the tuna? No one is wanna touch them? Wanna touch them? <laughs> no? Bo doesn't either. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. That usually doesn't get too much blood up there, but we're getting it bloody today. All right, and here's these vertical jigs we're using. Fancy schmancy. They, uh, they like them. Drop them straight down, and then they just start jigging them up, jigging them up, jigging them up, and wait till uh, you feel a pull. And you pull back. There you go. Clean it up, buddy. All right, clean up that mess, Felix. Clean up that mess. All right, we got a first mate in training. Good job, buddy. All right. You got another fish on, Liz? I do. All right. On the rainbow reel. You lost him? Yep. Feel it. Put the hose down. Oh, Felix, no more. One thing we have learned is not to trust a three-year-old with a hose. Away from the fresh water. I hope it's not fresh water. Nope. If, he run, if we run out of that water, we're walking home. Uh, uh, uh. There you go, another tuna. Yeehaw! Tuna Yeehaw! Tuna! Oh, duck or bleed. <laughs> Mom, you want to... All right, they're going down. She said, like, no, she just wants the fish. <laughs> you want to catch one, you just want the fish. <laughs> the fish. You come catch one. Come try. 
jig it and wind down. You got one. Keep winding. Get some of the lead up, the jig up. Mom's on. <laughs> there you go. Tuna Woo, on. hooked up. Mother's Day tuna. Mother's Day tuna. Sometimes I feel that heavy jig and I start swimming it down. Hard to believe all these boats out here. But we got lucky yesterday. The weather got real nice, real nice today. It looks like it's going to be nice uh, for most of the week. So we had a lot of wind last week and some torrential rain, but things are getting pretty. Hopefully things will be opening back up and you guys will be able to come down here and do this too. Tuna, tuna. A tuna for our mother. How are you going to cook them? <laughs> That's a lot of work, she said. Tuna fish. <laughs> tuna fish. Tuna fish for mom. All right, we're going to bleed them out and ice them down. All right. We got some dinner. Right. And we're on my brother's boat today, the 37 Freeman Broad Minded. If you don't subscribe to him already, check out Stan's fam on YouTube. The link will be in the bottom of the description. Oh, fish. Oh, he's so cool. You want to hold him by his tail? Oh. He won't hurt you, Sadie. You want to hold him like this? Come on, you can do it. You can grab it, Sadie. That is a hard pass. Oh, you want to hold him like this? Come on, you can do it. You can grab it, Sadie. That is a hard pass. She's like, no. Mom and her two sons. All right. Good job. There we go. All right. Fun, fun day with the family out here. Tuna's for dinner. Oh, look here. Boop, boop, boop. Smile. There you go. Fishing. Yay. Sadie, what do you think about those boys? Like those crazy boys? Crazy cousins? <laughs> you hiding up there? Okay. All right, guys, and we said this was a belated Mother's Day trip. Moms are always working hard for us. Mom's working out here today. We're trying to have fun, but we're trying to bring a video to you. So thanks, Mama, for watching these hooligans here. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Say what do you hi. think, boys? You having some snacks, boys and Sadie? Say hi. Say can you hi. wave to the camera, say hi. Good, Sadie. Can you wave like Sadie? <laughs> Felix, can you wave? Yeah. Bobo, yeah. can you wave? Bobo, how about a wave? That's why I went on the Yay! Yeah. Good job. <laughs> All right. Thanks, moms everywhere. And he's passed out. This one's still jumping around, though. Captain must have seen something. <laughs> Squid on a hook. Bye,
John. Mahi Madness, baby. Got him out. Mahi out. Nice school size fish, you guys. Big school fish, or at least 20 Mahi. Maybe 25. Got a jumper. Bring it up, man. Here we go, guys. Oh, how the tables have turned. This one used to pick on that one a lot. Now the rolls are reversing. All right, guys, well, we finished up deep dropping. We did get a tile fish. So, add it to the list. We're gonna wrap it up here. Fun day on the water with the family. Caught a bunch of fish. Good variety, good times. We'll have some dinner uh, tonight, later tonight. All right, good job boys. Proud of you both. They did great on the big boat uh, for their first real kind of longer day out here. So did Sadie girl. Good job, Sadie. Give me five. Yeah. All Let's right. Let's hear it for the moms. Yeah, right. Hear it for the moms. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you next time. All right, Nick's gonna clean the tuna and dolphin up here for us. Give us a quick demonstration. I don't clean a lot of these offshore fish, so listen to what he says. All right, here we go. The kids had a blast. They even touched the fish after a while. Blackfin tuna here. We call it a football tuna. It's the size of about a football. But gonna go right behind his head there. Cut up towards underneath his gills. And right down his backbone. Tunas are pretty easy to clean. Just like that. And when we skin these, we're gonna knock out this bottom section where the rib cage is, just like that. And we go right down the center bone where the bloodline is. We don't wanna go through the skin, we wanna cut the meat off the skin there. And that bloodline there, that dark red meat, we're gonna try to get that out of there too. So just kinda of come along with your knife. Just like that. Okay, so there's one loin of tuna. We'll do his bottom section, then I'll show you half a dolphin too. Dolphin or mahi, same thing, so. Watch the tarpon down there, guys. He got it. So this mahi mahi here, that's a little bull. You can see the square head. Now, if we would have had live bait, we could have caught a lot more. They didn't really want to bite that well. 
but I am really excited because we got fresh swordfish bait now. We're going to get a dolphin belly out, and that's where we used to catch swordfish a lot of times. So that's a swordfish bait now. And we you sacrifice very little meat that way. Now there's just a little bit on the bottom there. Well, Jeffrey turned up the hose. But go up towards his head there. Come down there where his stomach cavity ends. Trim along there. Some people pull the skin off the mahi, but I prefer to cut it. So we made our outline first. Now we're going to come right up along here. And we'll skin this next. Use the knife, push down even with the skin, turn the knife blade, and kind of cut it as you pull it back. Just like that. Now we got tarpon food here again, too. We got nurse sharks, we got tarpon, we got it all. Ooh, tarpon got it. Same thing on this. We're gonna take out that center pin bone, like we always do, that bloodline. Just like that. And you got a little fish stick there. We got fresh mahi here. So, mahi and tuna coming up. We'll see you back at home. All right, you heard it from the horse's mouth. Good looking fish there. We'll, uh, we'll catch you guys next time. All right, see you.